Hey guys, it's Megan Elizabeth here with the Cricut Expression 2, and today what I want to talk to you guys about is some of the editing functions and features on the Expression 2, and how to make sure you get exactly what you need when it comes to sizing. What I really am talking about here is what's the difference between relative size and true size? This question comes up a lot, even when you're talking about the regular Cricut Expression, or with the Gypsy, or many other uh, Provocraft machines. You will see on there, on the overlays, on the gypsy screen, you'll see this little button called Real Dial Size. Let me show you here. On the overlays, this is one of the overlays, this is from the Art Philosophy cartridge. But on all of them, you'll see a little icon called Real Dial Size. This is also a function on your Cricut Expression 2, on your touch screen. And I'm going to show you right now what the difference is and what it looks like. So what we're going to start with, we're going to go to our little cartridge screen here. This is our little cartridge screen. And we're going to go to the preloaded cartridges. And I'm grabbing the Cricut Alphabet cartridge that's preloaded on my Expression 2. And I want to go to this little flower here. Say we want to cut out all the layers of this fun little flower. Well, that's really, really easy to do. We're going to pull it up. And then we're going to hit Shift. And we're going to hit it again. Now I want to go in and I'm going to edit my image. I'm going to hit the little edit screen, which is the little crayon there. And we're going to click on the little sizing button, little sizing icon. And right now it is set on true size. It's going to cut it out at a true 3.75 inches, which is fine. We're going to hit save. Then we're going to go back and save and make sure that this is on true. And you're going to see this is actually not how we want to do it when we do layers. You don't want to do it this way. So it's on true, and it's going to cut that out at true 3.75 inches. We're going to hit save. Now we're going to go back, and we're going to do this again, but we're going to do it the right way. I'm going to show you the right way last, so hopefully it sticks in your head. This is the way that you need to do any image that you cut with your Cricut. If you're doing a layered image, and you want it to layer up and match, you need to do this. Go back in, click on your little fun little doodad here, your little rose. We're going to hit the edit screen, that little crayon. Hit on the sizing icon, then you need to hit tr uh, relative size. That's this little A and A here. It is a lot more self-explanatory when you look at this screen, but just to be fully sure we get this, I want to show you all the steps. So when the A's match up in the same size, right now you can see the A's don't match up, or the A's are relative to each other, a capital A and a lowercase a. They're relative in size, okay? The lowercase a is not going to be a true three and a three quarter inches tall, it's going to be relative to that three and three quarter inch size capital A. Whereas if we do true size, the lowercase a becomes a true three and three quarter inch size to that capital A. You can see the tops line up and the bottoms line up. Okay, so let me show you this on a real image so you really get it. We're hitting our rows, we're going to hit shift and we're going to do that layer there. We're going to make sure that is on three and three quarter inch relative. Okay, that's on relative, so we can save that. Now we're just going to go over and we're going to look at our virtual cutting mat. And I'm going to cut it out for you still too, just to be sure you really do get it. But right there, they're all right there. And you can see this rose center will never line up on top of our rose image that we're cutting out. So let's go take a look. Let's load this in. All right, we're going to hit cut. We're all ready to go. All right, so now that that's finished, we're going to unload so you guys can get a really good look. And we're going to actually put this, we're going to put this little rose together and create a fun little card with it so that you can see just how great this is. All right, first thing we need to do, remove our excess paper. Hello, look at that huge rose center. Never gonna be able to use this, right? At least not to layer up on top of one of our images. So now you can see literally the true size when you're doing a layered image does not work. You have to make sure that relative size is turned on whenever, whenever you're doing any kind of layered image so that then you can line up perfectly your rows 
right on top of your little whatever it is you're working on. Okay, so let me show you what I want to create with this, and I thought it would be really cute. Paper layers is really awesome because you can cut out all your different layers on one sheet of paper if you line things up right. I'm just showing you lining it up all at once, just putting it in there and letting it go. But if you cut out the different layers, it really works absolutely perfectly. And I thought this would be fine to let go just as is to put on a card because I'm going to cut out these two squares right here, just using my paper trimmer. I'll show you how cute this is going to look. Trim this out. Definitely keep your other layers, your other colors. They're all designed to go perfectly together, which is the great thing about this. All right, so what I'm going to now do is cut down the individual squares to a few various sizes, like a three inch square, because I think, again, this pink is going to look so cute behind my rose, which I switched the brown around. I just rotated that so that I had a pink um, flower, so you can see here. I just flip, flipped the brown and made it pink, or cut out another one in pink instead of the brown. Just thought it would look a little cuter. And I want to cut out a green square. Let's see what size do we want the green square. Let's do this one at closer to three and a half inches. We just want them to go up, up in height, not down. So we're layering the pink on top of the green and then the green back on top of the pink again. So we have a, you know, very well matching multi-layered level look. I'm going to grab my glue glider. Attach this all together. And place this right here on the front of our card base. We have our rose just about ready. I want to grab some ribbon. I have some really cute yellow Swiss dot ribbon which will go great with this. Before I put my little rose down, what I want to do is cut a little notch in the side of the card right here. So I'm just going to cut right into the side. You can see when you open it up it creates a little slit that especially for wider ribbon it will go right through for a side open card. Make sure your ribbons as close to all the way open as possible so you don't get any bunching. And I have way more ribbon than I need, of course. I tend to do that a little too often. It's all right. I'll reuse it. And I'm just going to cut a little, or tie rather, a little knot in this. Instead of trying to do a bow because of the flower, I don't want to do an actual bow that competes. I want it to just be a cute little tied off knot. And you just want to make sure that the patterns are going the right way. And you pull it, pull it tight, and then you can cut your little, then just cut your, cut your little angles in, and then we can adhere down our little rose right on the front. And feel free to stamp on here. You know, you can do anything that you want to do. Just trying to give you really the good functionality of how to do each one of the creative functions and features of the Cricut Expression 2. And I really hope that it helps you. We're going to put that right up by the top of that pink. Let the blue come over the yellow because that looks adorable. That's why we put the ribbon down first. And I'm going to finish it off using three mini sparkle lights right inside these little openings here. So you just want to put down your adhesive. I don't think that one's going to work. Let's use, I'm going to use some um, Rubber Cafe Scrap Happy Sheer Glue. It's a really great adhesive. So just three little dots. Place down our little mini sparkle lights. And you have a card ready to go. I really hope that you guys enjoyed this Tuesday tutorial today using the relative and true size of the Cricut Expression 2. Have a great day and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.